commenting on a Gemara in Eruvin, the Ritva says something interesting. He says, it says that the, the Gemara tells us that Elu ve'elu divrei kim chayim, that both Beit Shammai's opinion and Beit Hill's opinion are both considered part of the Torah. So if they're both part of the Torah, how is it possible that you can have diametrically opposed opinions that are both part of the Torah? And he says, this is a question that the old French rabbis asked. We're talking about in the year 1100, 1200. That's around when this question was asked back then. So how could both Beit Shammai and Beit Hill's opinions be the word of God? How could they be divrei of Kim Chaim. And the answer is that when Moshe Rabbeinu went up to Har Sinai, Moshe Rabbeinu was taught the Torah to, by God. And God didn't just tell him this is permissible and this is forbidden, but rather God advanced 49 arguments why something would be permissible and 49 arguments why it would be forbidden. So Moshe Rabbeinu looks at God and says, okay, well, what is it? Is it permissible or is it forbidden? And God said, no, that's not how it works. Lo bashamayimhi. The Torah is not here in the heavens to be decided. It's actually going to be given to the Chachamim. The Chachamim will have principles of how to study the Torah. And they'll look at it and they'll see these different arguments. And then they'll come to a decision as how one should practice practically. But they're all They're all ways of the Torah. And it's up to the Chachamim to decide which way satisfactory answer. And that's how we have debate today. And that's how we decide halacha. It's given to the Chachamim to tell us how to practice.